Indian clubs are an amazing thing to add to your routine. They can be a little technical and you have to know the proper technique, but once you do, you'll be rolling. Welcome to Critical Bench. I'm Coach Zach here at the compound and I'm going to go over some Indian club techniques for you. Now there's a few basics that you must know and must practice before you get good with Indian clubs. Because like anything, you must do them well before you do them fast. First thing is you just want to make sure you have proper posture. Now there's different ways you can do it. You can do it with your heels together, toes pointing outward. This causes you to use more of your core and stabilization than if you had a wider stance. So it's better to have your heels together. Next, you want to make sure you focus on your breathing. Breathing is so important and most people ignore it. With Indian clubs, you want to be breathing through your belly. Slow and controlled, nice and relaxed. You want to move with the swings as well. Get into a nice rhythm. Next, you always want to make sure your shoulders are back and down. This keeps them in a neutral position, keeps them protected and keeps them strong. You should do them with Indian clubs or with any kind of exercise. Shoulders are, it's a multi, uh, it's a ball and socket joint and it has a lot of motion in it. That also means a lot of room for injury. So you want to make sure you keep them protected with proper posture. Now, when it comes to swinging or doing any kind of exercises, you want to make sure that your grip is not tight. It's not clenched. You're not squeezing the clubs. In most martial arts, they teach to be relaxed yet firm. Same thing with Indian clubs. You want to have a firm grip. These aren't going anywhere, but I'm not clenching. I'm not using too much grip force. I'm nice and relaxed. This allows them to flow better, allows my wrist to move freely as opposed to clenching it. I'm just trying to muscle it. Now, Indian clubs are not just for your muscles. They're for your tendons, your ligaments, your joints, all the supporting fibers that don't get a lot of work with normal exercise. To add a little bit more core and stability, you can drop down to two knees. This causes you to really work on your stabilizing and core strength. It also shows any imbalances because when you're standing, you could be swinging, you could be using your hips, your feet to assist in the movement. This causes you to be more stable. Or to make it even harder and get a little bit of a hip opener, you can open up that hip and let it stay open. So a basic movement is just a swing. Remember, grip, breathing, posture, it's all connected. So this is a great way if you're just trying to rehabilitate your shoulder, trying to get in some more mobility work. If you want to work out those kinks, lubricate that shoulder, take it to its full range of motion, build grip strength, nurse an elbow back from injury, anything. Indian clubs are one of the most underappreciated workout equipment out there. I mean, not many people knows what these are. They think they're giant bowling pins. No, these are actually amazing for your shoulders, elbows, grip. It's just awesome for anything. Keep, helps your posture, helps pain, discomfort, really works out those kinks. So just find out where you start and then slowly you'll get better. And remember, the key to Indian clubs is always do it well before you do it fast. Before you go, I want to give you a free report on how actors get shredded. You can access it in two ways. You can hit the drop down arrow to access the description for this video. It's the link at the top, criticalbench.com forward slash shredded. All you have to do is enter your email and that free report is yours. Or just click this box here. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out all these other informational videos that I know you will love. I'm Coach Zach here at The Compound. We'll see you next time.